What's up YouTube? I'm Vern. I'm Anna. Welcome to another edition of Poggy Boy Production Channel. So this is another unboxing video for you guys. Mm, Anna exciting. doesn't know exactly what it is. It's just you just saw a plain black bag on the I table. I think it's a toy this time. It's a small bag, not a big box. <laughs> yeah, so. so be right back. All right, Hunter. You ready? Yes, sir. Reboss. Open this baby up. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here, Brian? Ooh. Ah! <laughs> it's a fancy looking one. It is uh, another toy from Vernon. What is this? It's a mask. It's a fancy looking mask. It's a fancy looking mask, yeah, definitely. Uh, you got your one sheet manual. What kind of fancy looking mask is this, Vern? And uh, I'm not sure what this is. What do you think this is? Oh, that's the, the filter. Oh, filter for the mask. Okay. Yeah, you put it here, then, you know, after it gets dirty and you polluted clean, and clean uh, it up. You could clean it up or buy new ones. And there's also cable charger wire. It's a micro USB. Yeah, that means something. Um, battery operated in this fancy looking microphone <laughs> if he has something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right. And uh, as you know we like we do like masks, me and Hannah. Like we bought one from the spy museum, right? Hannah? Yes. Oh yeah. I just saw where's the one? I think mine? you saw it in a couple of our videos we wear it all the time. Yeah. This is my fancy mask. I don't know how it compares to Brian's mask. <laughs> it's but... a little a little pricey for what we got, but we wanted to get a little souvenir for when we went to Spyscape Museum, what was that last year? No, it was this <laughs> year. Last year. Yeah, this year. Yeah, last year. <laughs> Bang. Bang tricked me. Bang tricked me. So, yeah. Um, not sure exactly how to start this, so we're going to maybe charge it up and be right back. So, for an up-close look at the mask, this is what it looks like. We're going to charge it right now. Charger is here on your right side of your mask. So, you just charge it by attaching it right there and yeah that's how you charge it we'll give it a couple hours and if you wanted to turn it on you just there's a button here you press this hold it down for five seconds and it should start working just like that all right so this mask did come charged a little bit as you can see it lights up yes <laughs> how's it feel around the face Hunter? It's a little tight and, uh, you know, it has this, you know, the nose clip and stuff. Oh, yeah, it has a built-in nose clip yeah. for those of you who are wondering. But it feels good. I mean, you know, adjustable and um, comfortable, you know. It's pretty comfortable, but you just got to adjust the nose clip. Yeah, so you can tell it's voice activated. It's yeah. also changing colors here. Right now it's blue. Um, I believe if you press the button a few times, there's different options for it, mm -hmm. like different colors. We'll play with it for a little bit, but yeah. it looks pretty cool. Something right that you... now I can't really whisper because you'll know if I'm talking about people. <laughs> <with the> voice <laughs> 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 Yeah, you suck. <laughs> yeah, you can't be discreet about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how's yeah. the how's the quality of the cloth cloth? Does it feel like a regular yeah, yeah, mask, it, face mask? Yeah, it has like, this nice. Uh, it's not it's cotton, but you know, it's nice fabric. Um, cotton, uh, not cotton. Uh, it's just a nice fabric, uh, pretty comfortable. It's just you just gotta adjust. Um, it's a little tight here, but you just gotta adjust the uh, the nose clip part so that it, it yeah. contours to your nose. Mm -hmm. In terms of comfortable, yeah, it's fine. I would give it about an eight in comfortability. And so, okay, it's pretty breathable, even though he has the he has the LED um, lights. lights in the front. And yeah, and he has that. Um, you showed me earlier. He has that um, the filter for the the dust and whatever that's changeable after a while. Or you don't have to use it, but as long as you have your face mask on, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. uh, I will leave the link to where I bought this down below. They're a small company. They have some really good products. So give your figure, give him a shot. And <laughs> he's playing with the buttons there, and he's changing colors, as you can see. So yeah, I think the price for this was about 15, 20 bucks, something oh, like that. That's it. Something like I, I'll double check for you guys. I'll leave the price up there for you. But yeah, I mean, for what you get, I think it's pretty cool. Make sure you guys charge it. It comes with that wire. It's a USB, uh, micro USB. Uh, comes with that cable. 
And uh, yeah, so I think this is pretty good for what we're going through right now. And I think it makes a really good mask. What do you think, Henry? Yeah. <laughs> he feels like he's going to go raving or partying, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and for those of you who have glasses like me, I know this has a built-in nose strip, like Henner says. You can buy these off Amazon, these little um, nose strips. It's actually a sticky. You just take it out. There's a peel back sticker and you just place it on top here, like so. This is what I bought from the Spy Museum. And you put it on your face. And what it does is it kind of tightens it around the nose so it's, the air doesn't come out and it fogs up your glasses. That's the worst. Yeah. And it doesn't experience that anymore because you got LASIK. Yeah. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah. So this would definitely help. I'll leave the link down below. Oh, I might need some of those for this one because this thing, the Spy Museum one, doesn't have that. So that's why sometimes the air puffs up. So if Vern wears it, his um, glasses get foggy. But for this one, yeah, I just tighten it up to make it more contour. But yeah, yeah, I can definitely... give you a few strips because they give you a whole bunch in the packet. So it's really helpful. The other one I have is called Nerd Nerd, Nerd. Wax Fog Block. Comes in a cloth. And then this was sent to me through the mail. I know there is another one in Amazon, that, but it's something like um, eyeglass cleaner. You dab your glasses with a little bit of water. What you do is just take it out and just clean it like this, both sides. And that will prevent it from fogging up. And it lasts for 48 hours. The only thing I think is, instead of fogging up, my glasses kind of get a little wet, I guess, from the moisture of the... <laughs> I'm just laughing at this mask. <laughs> the moisture of the, um, this from the cloth. But other than that, it prevents the fogging as well. And I will leave a link for that down below as well. So if you're interested, uh, you can check out the links down below. So, Henner, what do you think? What do you think of the mask? Pretty good? Pretty good. Uh, you'll definitely get, uh, you know, breaking necks when you walk out in the mall or something. And you walk around, you, people would look at you definitely because it's something new, something different. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, and it's a, a very cool novelty for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you want to stand out from a crowd, you'd buy this mask for sure. Definitely. <laughs> Henry, last words. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Ding ding ding! Thanks, guys. See you later.